hello guys welcome back to the channel so today i'll be making this beautiful palazzo trouser with pocket and elastic band guys so if you are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the tutorial so guys i will start by marking two inches for my elastic band but i'm actually removing the half inches upward because it's the end of the fabric and i don't want that to show why sewing so i'm just removing that part off so from that part i'll mark two inches and that two inches will serve as my elastic cover because the um the elastic band i'll be using is the is the um big band so if it is small i can actually go ahead and use like one and a half one but this one is big elastic so i'm using two inches so guys i'll start my horizontal measurement sorry my vertical measurement from that very two inches and i'll start by marking my hip measurement and the crotch measurement so the hip measurement is nine inches thereabout and the crotch measurement is actually 12 inches but i'll be using 12 and half adding the half inches for stitching it and i'll be connecting my line so for the measurement of the crotch, the crotch measurement is sometimes mainly two inches, um, two inches below your hip measurement sometimes. So for the tie measurement, I'll go down by two inches. You can decide to go by, by three inches, but I'm just getting down by two inches. And this will serve as my tie line. And for the knee measurement, I am going down from the waist measurement to... 22 inches and I'll be marking that space and that will serve as my knee line So I'll be placing my hip measurement here because this actually is a palazzo trouser So I'll be adding some allowances like normally the hip measurement is actually 11 inches But I want it kind of big so I'm adding 2 inches extra that will give it 30 inches and I'll be placing the 30 inches on the hip measurement on my waist measurement and on the crotch line as well I'll be placing 30 inches horizontally and I'll be I'll be drawing a straight line so guys if you notice this fabric is very shaky and very you know silky so it is very hard to work with so if you're a beginner please don't start with something like this it's better for you to maybe like Ankara you know African print fabric or Kampala or anything so I'll be drawing a straight line like I'm doing so here. Then for the crotches curve, depending on the measurement you I used to, for me, I normally divide my hip measurement by four and whatever I'm having is what I'll be placing there. But here, and it usually give me something like 2.7 there about, you know, I'll be making use of three inches here because I know that this fabric is very shaky and it might end up you know getting shorter so i'll be using three inches you can try to use some people use two and half depending on your preference so here for the curve just make sure that when you are making the curve you don't make it too deep inward like you don't make it too deep inward you just want to do something like this and that's what i'll be doing so for the tie measurement and the other measurements i will divide whatever i'm having on the crotches line by two and that will give me um eight inches because the hip measurement that i said earlier was 13 plus um sorry yeah plus another three you know i'm having something like 16 inches so the 16 inches divided by two give me eight and i'll be placing the eight measurements on the knee line on the on the tie line and on the length of the trouser the very line i'll be placing the eight inches and that will serve as the midpoint and all measurement i'll be taking will be from the midpoint here guys i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so for the knee measurements i'll be dividing my um knee divided by two 
because I'm using 13 so I'll be placing six and a half six and a half inches on both sides of the um of the me of the midline rather so for the tie line I'm using 14 and half I'll divide 14 and a half by two and I'll be placing that 14 and a half 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 on both sides of the midpoint if you guys understand what I'm doing and that's exactly what I'm doing here so the next thing I'll do is that I'll be connecting my dots with my curve and ruler like I said earlier this fabric is very hard to work with guys I spend a lot of time trying to draft this very pattern on this fabric it's very ethic so I'll just go ahead and draw my join my line so for the length of my trouser you know I'm having a very small space to work with so I have to be drawing the fabric here so for the length I'm going for 42 inches and I'll be adding 2 inches extra allowances for the hem depending on how wide you want your hem to be for me I actually added 2 inches because this fabric is shaky and it's my end up you know slanting or anything so i don't want it to affect my actual length i know that at all at all it will remain maybe like it will remain maybe like um maybe like one inches for me to hem and that is enough for me so i'll be placing my 42 inches and i'll be adding the two inches extra allowances and that's to give it 44 inches yeah so that's what i'll be placing like i'm doing so So that's the 42 and 44 and I'll be connecting the lines so after connecting the line I'll place my midpoint here as well that's 8 inches midpoint and I'll be placing it there as well so for the wideness of the you know I, for the wideness, I want it to be like, you know, kind of wide. So the measurement I'll be using is 12 inches. So I'll be placing 6 inches on both sides. And don't forget, we didn't do anything to the waist because the waist is actually, we don't need our me waist measurement here because it is, it is a palatal shoulder with an elastic band. So the elastic band is what we hold our trouser for us it's not as if i'm including any zipper or anything so it is i'm not i'm not needing my waist measurement here and that's why i didn't do anything to the waist so the next thing after joining my lines is that i'll be cutting it out guys the <laughs> the struggle is real guys i have to be you no know, checking adjusting every time here and there it's not very easy but <laughs> i did it <laughs> So guys, what I'll be doing next is that after adjusting and adjusting, I will start cutting. So guys, I can see I'm just cutting my fabric here. Adjusting and adjusting it every time so as not to you know make any mistake or any you know shifting and stuff like that. So I'll just be cutting it out here and I'll be cutting this side too. It's just shifting guys. <laughs> It's really ethical to working with this type of fabric. So now going to the back pattern, I will just you know fold my fabric into two again, and I'll be placing the front fabric on the on it. So on the crotches line, like I said on the crotches line, I'll go down by half of an inch, and I'll be placing the wideness should be two and a half. I'm always using two and a half depending on how big the person is. Sometimes you might set to use three inches. Then guys, I realized I made a mistake here. I supposed to add like one inches up. So I will stylishly drag down my fabric, my front fabric here. And I'll be adding one inches extra. Just the way I'm doing so guys. 
I'll be adding one inches extra like that as you can see and for the crochet side I'll be placing two two inches like I'm doing so and I had to do it again because they have already shaped my fabric so and I'll be connecting this to my two and a half line that I did earlier and as well you make sure that the the line is not too deep here yeah. so for that very one inches line that I put earlier I will just slant it into the front yeah I'll just slant the line into the front just like I'm doing so yeah I'm just slanting it into the front yes so the next thing is I'll be adding two inches all round from the crotches line to the thigh line to the knee line fat to the very hemi line like I'll make sure I added two inches all through so why I was doing that I later noticed that my fabric have shaked again <laughs> and I had to you know kind of redo it as you can see the fabric have already shifted again so I had to adjust it over and over again guys this struggle is real guys like I'm telling you the struggle is real but the has come worth it So I'm placing my two inches you no know, all round like I said earlier. And the next thing I'll be doing is that I'll be cutting it out. I'll be cutting it out, guys. So plaza trouser is very easy to cut to me. You know it's kind of very easy to cut comparing to the normal pants trouser here because pants trouser you have to be doing some fitting some you know it have that and all that so this is very easy so i've just been cutting out the lines i made earlier and that is all with our palazzo cutting so as you can see the front the back everything is ready so here for the pocket i'll be using um from my waist to my hip measurements and that is nine inches i'll be adding one inches for the joining for the sewing allowance and that will make it 10 for the wideness i'm using something like nine yeah i'm using nine inches for wideness because i don't want my pockets to be just something too long so i'll be marking my 10 inches so it is like a 10 inches by nine inches um pocket so i'll just go ahead and cut it out as you can see i'm having four folding here so when i finish cutting it out i'll be having four pieces so i'll just go ahead and shape it here you know i'll just shape it just something random freestyle it guys <laughs> so for the opening of my pocket later i'll be using six inches for the opening of the pocket so that my hand can easily slide in actually i'm just saying mine because this fabric is not actually for me guys <laughs> but for the hand to easily slide in i'll just make it six inches so now for the joining i'll be placing one of the front and one of the back with the right side facing each other and i'll be making a stitch along the that very line i don't know how to put it i'll be making a stitch along that very line i'll be doing that for the both side placing the front and the back together and I'll so guys i'll be running a stitch on that inner part i'll be doing that on both sides so guys i've already run the stitch here so the next thing is that i'll be placing both on each other with the right side facing each other like i'm doing so so that's in the sense that the front will be facing each other and the back will be facing each other and i'll be running a stitch on the crotches So I'll be running the stitch like that, aligning everything together. So I'll go ahead and do that on my sewing machine. So the hair, I've already done that, and the only thing remaining is this side. 
as you can see guys i've already ironed the top part of my fabric the part that we have the elastic band later on i had to iron it so that it should be easy for me when i'm running a stitch later on so for the side of the fabric you know i have to add the pockets later because this fabric is not very easy to do so i will be adding my pockets later on so for the pocket i will just run a stitch from the very top i will mark maybe like three and a half to four inches downward and i'll be running a stitch like that so i'll be running a stitch like that like three to four inches downward and i will stop there and i will mark six inches for the pocket opening like i said earlier and starting from that six inches i will run my one inches allowance down again i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so starting from the top i will run three inches three and a half inches rather i'll stop there i will mark six inches i will i will continue from the six inches i'll run it downward i'll be doing that on the both side so guys the remaining thing to do is now to put our pocket the reason why i didn't put it while stitching is because this fabric is not very easy to work with i won't lie and it is removing and i want to want my pocket to just start removing and the it's loose kind of i don't know how to put it i don't know how to explain it it's removing this the fabric is removing on its own yeah so i just shape it a little bit again yeah so what i'll be doing as you can see i'm just picking and picking the fabric so what i'll be doing is that i'll be placing the right side on each other on each side of the allowance remaining I hope you guys that's what I'm doing. I will just be placing it like that, making sure that the pocket is a little bit like half of an inch higher than wherever my first inch is top, and I'll be running, I'll be stitching it downward. Guys, I hope you understand what I'm doing. I'll be doing that from both sides for the front, the back, for the first side, and the second one to front and back on the both side. I'll just be running a stitch downward downward okay guys since i couldn't show you guys very well what i did earlier so i have to use this pattern paper to explain so what i did was that that very first line i drew was the three and a half inches i run then i stopped i leave that six inches opening then i run another stitch guys so that's very six inches is for my opening so this is my pocket and like i said i will go up like half of an inch upward for wherever my first stitch is stopping and i will be sewing it on each side of the trouser i'll be sewing the i'll be sewing it with half of an inch like that like i'm demonstrating here you can see i'll go up like half of an inch and i'll be running a stitch i'll be running a stitch downward with half of an inch and it will be looking like this after stitching it as you can see so to so now join my pockets together the front and the back pockets together this is what i'll be doing i'll be running a stitch right from that very one i ended earlier i'll be running a stitch like that like i'm demonstrating guys please pay attention guys i don't know how to explain <laughs> like that and from where the six inches is stopping i'll be running a stitch just within the two other stitches <laughs> i'm saying so much of stitch here guys i'm running a stitch just the way i'm demonstrating guys just the way i'm demonstrating that's what i'll be doing my camera was not really picking it it wasn't focusing well so i couldn't show you guys on the fabric so i had to use the pattern paper so please accept it like that <laughs> So guys, I'm just going to be demonstrating what I said earlier so that you guys can understand. And if you don't understand, I'll be in the comment section so you can ask me any question. Because this method is very good, especially when you're having um, much allowances at, your, at the side of your trouser. Especially if it is like 1 inches, one and a half inches allowance. This method is very good for you. But if it is like half of an inch um, stitching allowance that you put there, then... You don't need to use this method there are a lot of methods you can use to input your to sew in your um your pocket 
so going back to my fabric here i'll just be doing what i demonstrated earlier i was trying to explain it here but because of my camera and i'm working at night as well because i have to you know kind of rush things and work with light and all that so and i noticed that my camera was not really showing so what i'm just demonstrating is what exactly i did on the pattern paper i showed you earlier so i'm running a stitch from that very way i stop i'm running a stitch like this curve it to the down part then from the six inches opening i'll be running a stitch just from that place to where I joined my pocket. That's what I did here. And I'll be doing that on both sides, guys. So, guys, I've already done that here, and as you can see, the pocket is already there. As you can see, I have to be picking and picking the fabric, guys. <laughs> it's not something very easy. As you can see, the pocket is, you know, it's just bend. I'm just trying to show you guys how the pockets will be looking like after you wear it <laughs> so the next thing i'll be doing guys is that i'll be folding the elastic band allowance like i you know i already ironed it earlier so it'll be easy for me to fold in and i'll be leaving after running a stitch i'll be leaving like two inches opening so that i'll be able to insert my elastic band in it so guys here i've already run a stitch and I left like two inches, um, two inches opening, and I'll be using my um, pin, my safety pin, to insert my elastic band all round. So here, what I'll be doing is that I'll be, you know, using my machine to. Is it that you, you can use zigzag? You can, you know, decide to stitch it down. You can do anything you want. And I'll be closing it up and I'll go ahead and hem the down part of my trouser. And voila, this is the hand. As you can see, everything is sitting nice and well. The pocket is at the right position. The elastic band is there. The hem is good. Everything is looking nice, guys. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share love. I'll be in the comment section, ask questions. And I love you guys, guys. Bye-bye.